James chapter 4, it says, What causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You want something, but you don't get it. You kill and covenant. You cannot have what you want. You quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. What he says by you kill and covenant, what you're doing is, is when you kill somebody, you're forcing the issue or you covet. You take somebody else's, you strong arm it, you force it. You try to do what you want done in your will. He says, you do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive because you were asked with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world is hatred towards God? Anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes the enemy of God. Or do you think the scripture says without reason that the spirit he calls in us envies intensely? What that means is, is that God wants your full heart. He envies the fact that what we put our energy and our heart in, and that if we're not putting it into him and in his word the spirit envies but it says but he gives us more grace that means even though we don't focus on him don't surrender to him that god still gives us more grace that is what the scripture says god opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble submit yourselves then to god resist the devil and he will free from you flee from you That is a promise from God that if we submit ourselves to God and we resist the devil, the devil will flee. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter into mourning and your joy into gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. That's a promise that if we do surrender, we resist the devil, we flee. We rely on God. We trust in Him. We fight, fight to stay close to God and humble ourselves. God will lift us up. I love you.